Hello and welcome to uh, this video about a um, Sony CDP 507 ESD. Um, I bought it from a gentleman who was using it as a transport for a long time and uh, he noticed that it no longer um, has any output. Well, the only fault that there was with it is that the switch that changes between, uh, as you can see, analog and digital, this is a digital output, and that is analog, was just dirty from not being used. And uh, it's a very good uh, output. You can do the yeah, we can do a single beam. It's uh, the verticals are very vertical, not perfectly square, but but sort of good enough, better than any Philips, or certainly better than any uh, CEC. Um, what else? The other thing that was wrong with it is the pot that adjusts the output and headphones. Uh, it was a bit dirty. It took a bit of doing to clean it, to get access to it, one have to take the front panel. But, you know, nothing too difficult. Um, so what kind of machine is that? It's, um, as I said, not the, the very top of the ranges, but still very, very good. Uh, this is, um, although you cannot see it, it's KSS 151A magnetic drive mechanism. So that's why you can go and jump to any track, anywhere on the album with instant response. Uh, electrically, it starts with a, um, a filter, proper mains filter at the input, which not many players do now transformer voltage selector so you can play anywhere in the world and then um, and then the main board you don't probably care about it but uh, as far as I'm concerned it's beautiful because all the silk screen you can see every measurement you can just easily find um, in any test point so um, Sony does that in the manuals that they do are beautiful at least in all these when they were paper, uh, the printed manuals. Um, capacitors for the capacitor brigade, um, some of the blue ones are Nihicons, the rest are Elnas, all those are Elnas. Dura something, I have to get my magnifying glass to tell you exactly. Durex. They're cold, but they look the part, they, they look reasonably well. Um, for those who like TDA 1541A, R1, two of those, and um, for the regulator people, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a decent number. Very well made machine. Uh, the only thing on the downside is that the sides here are, are plastic, so it's but it still weighs, I think, about eight kilos. Um, as I said before, you know, as you see, it plays anything. You can jump around, and, and it does things beautifully. Um, tray is nice and smooth. Uh, I'll play quickly tones. Um, why? Because I can, because it's very easy, you know, with the um, numerical keypad. 8 is the beginning interruption data layer, and does it well, and 15 is the black dot of 0.9 of a millimeter, so this is a standard for Red Book, and it does it without uh, any problems. So these Sony's, um, all of those is the all the players within the ESD, and that's my Scratch CDR. Um, they do very well, uh, as you see. That plays as sweetly too. Sadly, I'll turn it down because uh, eBay, uh, the, uh, no, eBay, the YouTube uh, flags me for 
violation of copyright, as if, I mean, I cared what kind of music it is, you know, this is just scratch CDR to me. Okay, well, thank you very much uh, for your attention. Um, I put it up for sale. It's a very, very good player. Uh, but I have just too many uh, transports and, and CD players to keep this. But but if somebody wants a transport and uh, all likes the sound of TD-1541A, well, that's the one for you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.